the on stage security advocate could name dead Omata Kong has arrested two Fulani men suspected to be kidnappers at Supari Akoku in the Akoku Southwest local area of the state. It was learned that they were arrested for adopting two fellow Fulani men. This was made known by the commander of the state, Amateko Adetunje Adelei, in Akure, noting that a member of the syndicate, Sidi Amadu, was apprehended inside a forest in Supari Akoku. According to Vanguard, Adeyeli named the two victims as Musa Ibrahim and Ahmedu Ibrahim, who are brothers from the same parents. They were adopted and tied to a tree, and their captors were about to slaughter them when the Omateko corpse arrived at the scene. Adeleyi affirmed that the criminals numbering seven ran away leaving Amadou who was sleeping behind when the Amateko corpse invaded the den. He said this is a case of herdsmen being kidnapped by fellow Fulani herdsmen. The two victims rescued by Amateko are Mosa Ibrahim and Amedo Ibrahim. They are siblings and they are herdsmen. They were kidnapped in Supari Akoku and valuables are taken from them after the kidnap operation and they were tied and about to be slaughtered by fellow Fulani men before our men got you know wind of it. We penetrated the forest when they are hiding and we are able to apprehend one of the criminals. He confessed to the crime and said their gang was a a group of seven and that they me migrated into the state from Bene and Kogi from Benin and Kogi states. He said the last kidnap they did was about eight people. We have been able to take care of the two victims that were adopted. While speaking, the two brothers who were victims explained that they received the beating of their lives from the hoodlums who covered their faces and tied us to the tree. They tortured us and told us to call our relatives to bring ransom to release us or they will kill us. They beat us and were about to kill us when the Amateko men arrived at the forest. Hmm. Okay. Where is uh, Joe Ibukwe that says uh, Fulanis are not kidnappers and all that? I believe we will hear this news that <laughs> they caught these people, Fulani people kidnapping their fellow Fulanis. Hmm. I've been mean, making here with Nigerians get to take talk concerning this. I'm at a call. What, what is your business for someone to kidnap his terrorist brothers? <laughs> Nigerian news full of confusion everywhere, honestly, because it has turned to a tradition. There is no day we wake up in this in this country that we not hear bad news. How people were being killed, how people were being kidnapped by Fulani men, by bandits, by Boko Haram and all that. We don't just hear any good news in Nigeria anymore, apart from bad, bad news. Evil, that is what we hear every now and then. Leave them, his family affair. Amajiri is hiding. Aboki in IDP camps won't comment now. <laughs> Apoko, if the evil kill him, Nko, waiting be on a business, I beg. Make una not talk like that. They be human being too. Most of them too, they are victims though. Waiting consign them. Waiting consign a medical with family issues. <laughs> People are still talking. I tell you, I was going to say that, or more, you just they enter my, my, my mind. Finish. Fulani, the tribe of killing and kidnapping. Mind your business is your family problem. S men they kidnap fellow S men. Hmm. This one's stronger. No, no, they were just taking him to Zafara Forest to get and meet Gumi for vaccine and forest education. This country, eh? They are not a person. You can say that again. They are doing friendly march, and these people are disturbing them. Hmm. Okay.
And on the last day of creation, God said, let there, let there be violent. They waiting on sign Amatiku for this matter now. Why then they interfere? Now family business, I bet me could not leave them. If they like me, then kill them, finish. Not be anybody's business. Because then they kill everybody every now and then. This matter I get as a bill. But now good news anyway. <laughs> Nigerians are still talking. I can someone said Nigerian government never see anything. The last class when we hear we say these people will come kidnap them for Asorok. And I clap now go there, they clap for them. Since they know one lenses, you go reach their tongue. Now now they don't they chop themselves. You think say God they sleep. Okay, someone said, My brother, God not they sleep. Now our prayers be this they walk. They go fight themselves and kill themselves. Now so it will be. They don't know say na Yoruba land they day. We don't blow something poof on her. Now so then go they fight themselves. But what pay me pass be say I might take they go they rescue them. Hmm. So guys, these are some reactions from Nigerians. You know, uh, you don't blame anybody who is talking like this because you people are angry because of what has been going on. These people have been, you know, doing kidnappings, killing people, and all that. But the Nigerian government are always, you know, shading them for all these atrocities. They are untouchable. I believe that is the reason why people are acting like this. When you talk, they said you are intimidating them and all that, and they are operating fully in the country unchallenged. So, guys, I'm dropping it here. What's your take? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.